Now, in the southwestern part of the country, landowners in Lagos State can develop their property without fear of, of being harassed by land grabbers who are in the habit of extorting money from members of the public. The Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akio Miyambode, is tackling the menace with the new properties protection law he recently signed. Governor Ambody also signed the Neighborhood Safety Corps Law, a move which is aimed at boosting security of lives and property in the, all the local the government people's areas people's and local council and development the areas. Council the Properties Protection Law, amongst other things, will reduce the activities of persons or corporate entities who use force or intimidation to dispossess or prevent any person or entity from acquiring legitimate interest and possession of property acquired through state government or private transaction. Governor Ambode says he wants to safeguard the lives of all residents as well as attract investments and improve the ease of doing business. The Properties Protection Law will give legal backing to the operations of our law enforcement officers. The main objective of this law is to ensure that our investors, businessmen and the general populace carry on their legitimate land and property transactions without any hindrance or intimidation henceforth. It's to ensure that the Special Task Force on Land Grabbers work with all security agencies to ensure enforcement of state government and private property rights in the state. It's also to ensure proper coordination of the efforts of the various agencies of government charged with enforcing the state government's rights over land in Lagos State. In the Lagos Safety Corps, we assist the police and other security agencies within the state to maintain law and order across our communities. It will also be charged with the responsibility of registering all private home security and any other persons employed for private home security, amongst other things. Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Kimumi Ambode. Now, joining us to shed more light on this issue is the Commissioner of Justice and the Attorney General of Lagos State, Mr. Adeniji Kazim. Thank you for coming on News Across Nigeria. Good afternoon, Adam Day. Good afternoon. For those who suffered at the hands of land grabbers and uh, for those who uh, taking the picture, a holistic picture of it uh, and seeing how it has affected the state uh, and who think this is a long time coming, um, what do you think the first advantage of these two laws are? Well, first of all, as you know, um, land is extremely important to Lagos. Um, it has been said that uh, land is almost uh, Lagos oil. Um, for a long time, there have been issues regarding um, certainty of title, you know, um, uh, to land uh, in, in Lagos um, because of this um, increasing menace of um, these land grabbers. Um, so if you buy property and you don't feel that this property is secure and can be uh, uh, encroached on by these people that claim um, superior title, then it becomes a serious issue. So, um, and as you're aware, um, just before the law was actually signed, um, the governor set up a task force, um, which was under my office, which already gone operational. So what basically happened um, with the um, law that was recently signed was the um, assembly um, responding to the yearnings of the people and um, giving legal backing to what the governor had essentially done. So the clear message to the public is that you can't um, uh, take over any property uh, by force. Um, there's Latin term Viet armies, by force of arms. Mm -hmm. um, you have to resort to the courts. You have to go through um, the legal system. Um, it means um, enthronement of the rule of law. And if you look through the, the, the law itself, there's even a section that says, even if you have a right to possession, um, you can't go into that property by force. So if, for instance, now you're on that property, by some reason you find yourself there, mm -hmm. and I feel that I have a superior title to you, I can't go in there and just route you out with weapons and all that. So there's a due process, there's a rule of law Correct. thing that's, there, going, that, that's happening. Rule. So right. that's what you're seeing there in that, in that law is rule of law uh, uh, um, uh, uh, enthroned, so to speak. Does this deal effectively with the um, menace, as it were, of 
what Amonile, what what we in, in the well in the Yoruba language. Okay. The, these people that you know feel that because they have, as we as we as we say, land grabbers. Does this deal effectively with them? And how? And this law obviously will be enforced. Well, yes. I think um, if you look at what was already on ground, um, the criminal um, code of Lagos State um, basically had provisions that um, said that if you steal somebody's land, I think that was section 52 and 53, then you're liable um, and, and you get um, punishment of two or three years in jail. Now, if you look through the, 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 the law, the, 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 the uh, punishments are spread from five years to as high as 21 years yeah. um, for different offenses, you know, taking over property, encroachment, um, using force, uh, and, and, and selling uh, property. Even professionals like lawyers, real estate uh, uh, accountants that also uh, connive with these people have the, 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 the problem of having this conduct reported to their professional bodies. Now, because, because, or because you have been conniving, okay. yes, okay, okay. with these people. Because. So you're like your co conspirators, mm -hmm. you know, with that. Then also, the, the, the very critical issue of where these guys um, charge you for goods in transit, you're moving goods to your, your building site, they're asking for foundation costs, uh, you know, decking costs and all that. There's also that there. There's punishment, two years, huge fines and all that. So we think that the, 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 the range of, of, of fairly high, high um, punishment uh, uh, thresholds will send a very clear signal. To, 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 the, to those people that look, you are going to uh, uh, face the, the highest punishment possible. Now, furthermore, because that task force is presently under my office, yes. I'm going to use the force of my office to ensure that prosecution is swift uh, and punishment is, is, is fairly, fairly, um, fairly stiff against these guys. So this is a law that will be enforced? Yes. <laughs> As all laws in Lagos are uh, being enforced. Yes. Well, you know, <laughs> well, Lubide, uh, yes. just to point out, you know, we, the problem that we found out is that it's not that there, there, there are not laws. You know, yes, sometimes there are gaps which we're trying to, 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 to create new laws, yes. but it's the enforcement. That is the issue. And that's what this government is, is focusing on, law and order and enforcement. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. I've been speaking with the Honorable Commissioner for Justice in Lagos State, Mr. Adiniji Kazim. He's also the Attorney General for Justice in Lagos State.